three now. Hi, this is Keith Duncan at BuiltByKeith.com. We're going to talk about manufacturing efficiency. We're going to walk through this very quickly. Number one thing is on any workstation, shortest distance, less energy, less motion. You move the parts to the worker, not the worker to the parts. You put all part bins on rollers to very rapidly move things in. You have custom adjustable work tables, so you match the table height to the perfect level for that. And you also have optional chairs within out custom, with or without custom armrests. So you give the, the employee the option of setting their, your chair height. And by the way, our bodies are designed to stand up all day long. Trust me, they're not designed to be sitting. Now on the workstations, the typical configuration is very simple. You have a machine that you're operating. The operator's in the center. The input part should be as close as possible to put the number one parts into the number two machine and then three is the output bins. Now, as far as your working tables, your working table is located so you can move in and out. The, the operator wears an apron for the smallest parts. They have small part bins located closest to them for their workstation and they only put the things they're working on right in front of them. Um, the next important, most important parts are closest to them. The next important parts, which is the larger bulks here, and the less important, which is the bigger bulks there. Here's the input, which has the bulk storage parts on roller racks. On the other side of your table, you have the things that come off the table that now get put on roller storage that go to the next workstation. Now, in order for people not to be bored on their workstations, the problem is they're doing repetitive tasks all day long. They're not talking, they're not communicating, they're not learning. Most of the tasks are so new, are so new that the expression is so repetitive, they can do it blindfolded. There's no, no brain power involved. So, the solution is, is to take old throwaway PCs or laptops that are being thrown away by the thousands and millions, and you create a workstation there. You have a monitor, optional monitor, but the number one thing is you have a noise canceling headset with a microphone, and optionally a Bluetooth microphone. You also add an optional Logitech C905 camera that costs around $60. By the way, soon there'll be $40. Now, you go through the computer to either Wi Fi or Internet to a switch. Now, the switch just goes to either inner office or it goes out the public network to home, friends, or suppliers, or anyone else there. Now, here's the situation you're on a workstation and you're bored, but you want to learn something. You're doing a meaning of repetitive tasks. Now, in this particular setup, you can do the following. You can actually do, listen to music, watch TV, do a chat room, Skype video, or inner office cam. So the idea now is that you communicate with the person that you need at the same time. So you want to have a group discussion about quality control, or talk about your family, or I wouldn't say shop on the web, but you effectively could, because all your communication things are in level. Now, there's a danger involved with using the noise canceling headset. The problem is if the machine malfunctions or someone comes up behind you and scares you, what you do is you have a hot button on your work table that has a yellow light next to the machine That's, or a slight uh, throbbing, something that would get your attention so it wouldn't distract you. And also, if the machine malfunctions because you have noise canceling, you get a sound in your ear, plus you get a light, and you might even get a vibration. Whatever it takes to notify you to stop what you're doing. This will avoid uh, accidents on the workforce, on the workplace. Now, um, another thing you can do is with Skype Video, especially Skype Video Pro, you now have the ability to call a conference call anytime you want. And by the way, the webcam will be live anytime. So anytime your boss anywhere in the world wants to call into your workstation, he calls in, your light goes on, and you know that you're on it, and you go, hi boss, how are you today? How can I serve you? What can we do together? And you can also dial him or anyone else in the company at any time and talk about a production problem or quality. So this allows you to instantly communicate your ideas, and now everyone becomes a key part critical. Now, there's a problem with corporate America always wants more profit, less employees, and less headache. I have a solution. And you have to look at the other side, which is an employee always wants more pay, more benefits, and less hours. And it also builds you clock in and out. Every, everything that I can do internationally will be guaranteed before I, when I find a problem, which I'm very good at, I will propose a solution that benefits both parties, the management employee, management as well as the employees. Here's the way it works. It's called profit shareholders, and it gives the option for everyone that's working in the world to do one of three categories. The first category is as an employee, and they work by the hour, by the job, the old way. The second one is that they are an owner of the company. It allows them to, to participate and also control the expenses and control their own profit. The 
thirds contract, which means you work by quota. For example, if you uh, make 100 parts in the day and you use my process improvement, the company is prohibited from making you do 120 to 150 parts to, to uh, take advantage of the employee. And how do we do that? They have a contract. When I come up with a problem and a solution, the company will have a contract with me that I will put a $1 million up if I can't save them a single dime. Any profit they do after that, they will pay me and my trust fund 10% of every profit for either one, six, one month, six month, or one year product. And I will guarantee in writing that I will return that money to them if the system breaks down. Also, if they break their, their rule and go back and, and have employees work more and put a burden upon them and they don't benefit on this side, they will return a percentage, which is typically a $100 million penalty, back to me. All of this is legally enforceable. This is Keith at BuiltByKeith.com. You can get to me at BidOnKeith.com if you'd like to find out what we're doing for the world. Thank you.